To find the best place to camp on Lake Powell, you need to watch the whole video. Wild Weep is your gateway to Lake Powell, Glen Canyon National Rec Area, and some of the best hikes in the world, including Antelope Canyon, Horseshoe Bend, Buckskin Gulch, Toadstool Hoodoos, and Wire Pass Trail. Let's get started. We stayed here for many reasons. We'll talk about those throughout this video and watch until the end to find out one thing that can ruin your plans at Wild Weep. Let's first talk about price and campsite amenities. Wild Weep is in Glen Canyon National Rec Area, so you will have to pay for entrance into Glen Canyon. The fee is currently $30 per vehicle for up to seven days. Other rates are available and can be found on the National Park Service website. The RV park is inside Glen Canyon National Rec Area and has full hookup RV sites for $65 to $90 per night. Tent sites run around $30 per night. Pricing is variable based on the time of year and other factors. Full hookup includes 30 and 50 amp electricity, water, and sewer. Grills and picnic tables and fire pits are also available at each site. There are a variety of back-in and pull-through sites available, and the best view can be found on Google Maps. Coming up later, we will discuss the beach, but now let's talk about the campground amenities. The campground sits atop the hill, leading down to the water, including the beach and boat launch. Waweep is about 15 minutes from downtown Page, Arizona, and on the Utah-Arizona border. It's amazing how fun it is to walk across the state line. The beach is a decent walk from the campground. Bathrooms are located in each loop, with dumpsters outside for easy disposal of your garbage. As you can see, everything is paved and there is a lot of stone. It is truly a desert landscape with little shade and minimal trees and shrubs. There is a laundry at the registration office that has good coin-operated washers and dryers. The campground office checks in campers efficiently and is a great resource for any questions you might have about the area. The store is stocked well with many gift items, drinks, snacks, camper parts and supplies, and beach gear. Speaking of beach gear, let's talk about the beach and swimming next. Coming up later, we will discuss one item that will cancel your plans. The beach at Waweep is about one-third mile walk, so set expectations for your brood appropriately. It's best to park in the beach parking lot if there is room. We found that a wagon and backpacks helped a lot to get down to the water. There is a paved sidewalk for some of the hike. However, the remainder is stone and sand. The beach is large and has a lot of room to spread out. The water was very warm and refreshing in the 105 degree heat. Note on windy days you will get sandblasted. Literally, the sand is picked up from the beach and pelts your body. It was much more fun to be in the water during high winds. Measure your time and activity. It is a difficult hike back to the parking lot due to the elevation gain. During low water levels, they use the out-of-service Wawi Marina boat launch to get to the beach. Know that even in 2022, when the water levels were low, the beach was open, boats were on Lake Powell, and there was a lot to do. Hopefully the water levels will return and the park can be used as designed. We learn from our community. Comment on what you look forward to in a campground. Getting on Lake Powell is one of the main reasons people camp at Wawip. Now we'll discuss the boat launch and boat rentals. Later we will discuss Horseshoe Bend. Lake Powell is a fantastic lake built by Glen Canyon Dam on the Colorado River that provides a lot of recreation and electricity while preventing floods. The dam can be viewed from Highway 89 above. There are pull-offs near the dam and a short walk will provide for great photos. Currently, lake levels are low and access to the lake is difficult. The boat launch at Wow Weep is a spectacle. The state line boat ramp reminds me more of a Midwest ski slope. The ramp is 10 lanes wide and is composed of brushed concrete. We walked the dogs down to the water one night just to get a feel for the ramp's significance. The ramp is a quarter mile long with steep elevation. When the water level is at normal height, there are two docks to tie up to. The parking lot for trucks and boat trailers has over 400 parking spots. We also enjoyed walking the parking lot to see the trucks and other rigs. We saw a fire truck with a boat trailer and massive pickup trucks and semis. When there is low water, the boat ramp is out of service and an auxiliary boat ramp is used as shown in this video. We asked the people at the camp store where we could fish and learn that the Waweep Marina docks have a fishing area. Waweep is a big place, so I asked for directions. Fishing was good for a few hours of entertainment. If you are finding value in this video, subscribe for more on Lake Powell area and hiking and traveling to those hikes in the United States. When we went, we were able to rent a powerboat from Waweep Boat Rentals at the State Line Marina boat docks and explored for a few hours. We rented a 19-foot powerboat. Size is up to you, but any of these small boats are subject to the same weather restrictions. A 19-foot boat will generally behave the same as a 21-foot boat. 21 feet just has a little more legroom and horsepower for pulling skiers and tubes. We motored into some of the tight spaces, including Antelope Creek and Navajo Canyon. We also saw a Tower Butte and took the boat by the Glen Canyon Dam. Now for what seems to be the most photographed spot in the world. 18 miles from Waweep is Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend is the most photographed place in the world, it seems. We've seen more pictures of Horseshoe Bend than just about anywhere else. Here are some more for you to view. There is a parking fee by the city of Page, Arizona of $10 per passenger vehicle to see Horseshoe Bend. From the parking area, it is a one and a half mile round trip hike on an asphalt paved trail. Don't be fooled. This hike is difficult in the heat of summer 
and you should bring plenty of water, wear hats, and sunscreen and be careful. It does not look as far as it really is. From the overlook, the Colorado River is 1,000 feet below. The 270 degree bend is way more majestic in person than in photos. Also look into the toadstool hoodoos for a nice hike. The first time we went to Lake Powell, the wind limited our time on the water to just the morning. Additionally, in the afternoon, we watched an awning on another RV get destroyed by the wind. There are also wildfires in the area frequently. Be weather aware when planning and during your stay. Wire Pass Trail was closed due to wildfire and we were unable to hike Buckskin Gulch our first time through. This was a blessing in disguise. To continue, watch this hand-picked video next.